Closed captioning is brought to you by Insect Defend Patch. Deep free protection from biting insects. If you're into catch and release fishing, a proper landing net is a very useful tool that enables you to handle fish properly as little as possible and then get them back into the water. Now over the last few years, we've been using the Lucky Strike live release basket net and that's what I'm holding up in my hands here. This particular one has a six foot retractable shaft. So you can see it's very easy to use or about three feet long when it's collapsed down. But the key thing on this net is the actual mesh. You can see that it's called a basket net because it doesn't have a long, a long bag. It looks like it's been cut off and the bottom of it is flat, almost like a cradle. Also, the mesh is very lightweight, but it's rubber coated. It's not heavy, but the rubber coating prevents the hooks from getting stuck into the net. And if you're catching fish like pike or trout that thrash around a lot and you're using more than one hook like a treble hook, you're least likely to have problems taking too long getting the hooks out of the net. So the Lucky Strike basket net is an ideal tool to use. So today you can get some really nice nets for catch and release, just like the Lucky Strike basket net. Isn't this nice to come up as couples and to see the families oh, with the especially kids? Especially in the afternoon catching walleye. That's yeah. pretty awesome. So about an hour ago I said to Barb, you want to go in? We've caught enough fish and just go for a swim. She said, no, I want to fish. I can see why, Barb. Yeah. This is a lot of funny. It Look is. at how clear that water is. It is Isn't it nice clear. to be able to see all the details? Yeah. Yep. Now they have really good eyes and they're sensitive eyes, but yes. they still feed in the middle of the day yeah, middle with the these day. gorgeous conditions. That's a nice chunky one. Oh, right on the stinger. Get on the, the stinger. Just on the stinger hook. You did well, Barb. Thank okay, you. You know what? Picture opportunity. Nice. Talking about you. Oh, thank you. There. Okay, you want me to give you a hand taking the hook out? Oh, okay. I think I got it. Oh boy, it's in the yeah, tissue. Yeah, that, that's with two that little tissues. stinger hook. That's There's why you got to be careful if he yeah. thrashes. You just hold him tight, There's okay? Because I'm yeah. gonna, I want to get him right. See, you didn't have him by much, but no. he wasn't gonna get off. Yeah. There. Okay, Barb, if you want to put him in the net, I'll take your rod. Okay, Barb, you caught him here. You revive him. Okay. We got a nice photo of him. I think he's gonna be ready to go. You think so? He's playing a sleeper right now. Is he? Yeah. He's he's giving you the little bit of look at the wave. Yeah. Yeah, if you write him, I think he's going to shoot right down. Well, maybe not shoot like a pike. Look oh, at it. There he goes. Well, look, look at, at him go. go. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's down there on the bottom. He's just a little shook up, hon. Now, wasn't that nice, Barb? You saw the sonar, the front sonar? I did. We marked a little pot, pot of walleye maybe uh, four or five of them on the front sonar. Barb's got a sonar on the back too. And then I missed one right away. Then we got an eater and now Barb's got a nice one on. It'd be nice if they stayed underneath us for a bit, you know. Yeah, for Barbara, sure. Barbara, look at what a nice walleye. It is a nice one. With these gorgeous conditions. Yes. We've actually had nonstop action. Just a lot of the fish have been smaller, small mouths. Nice walleye. Beautiful, nice head shake. He can head shake all he wants right now. Yep. Now, are you going to be okay to hold? Oh, the hook is out, Barb. Oh, that was Are you going to be fast. okay to hold him up? I want to get a nice photo of you with him. Okay. He looks like he's about 22 or 23 inches. You know what? Yeah, almost Two four hooks. feet long. We'll get that after, Barb. Here, you okay. grab the fish. Yeah. Be very careful, just underneath. Okay. You know, the grip, grip and grin, just underneath the gill plate. Yeah. Careful if he thrashes. You got him? Yeah. Okay, hold on. Let me get the camera out. Big smile. Nice sunny weather, eh? Perfect, okay, let's get him back in the net. One quick measurement right up here. I was guessing about 23, Barb. Okay. But you know what? 22, still a nice walleye. Okay, and he came from about 22, 23 feet of water and it's midday and a nice pot of fish came by. It's so nice to be able to mark him with the electronic equipment. You know what? He's not too stressed out, Barb. No. Nope. Look, Yeah. you're gonna see him take off in just a sec. Look at Barb, he's getting ready. He's yes. gonna give us the wave. Bye-bye. Yeah. There right goes down his to the tail. Bottom. Barbara this on a good towel. Hook set. This I one's saw a that. good one, you can tell. I'm gonna leave my rod in. It wants to go down. Yeah, I saw you set the hook. You know it's a good walleye when it barely gives and the rod's bent right over. 
Oh, Look at Barbara. Nice one. Nice fish. I mean, it's so nice to be able to come out after dinner it and get a nice. bunch of these big walleyes like this. Yes. Oh, oh, it's good. a jumping one. Look at nice one, Barb. I got a feeling he's going to be up there. He's going to be over 25. Look at this. Isn't that a nice fish? When you consider that this is a drive-to lodge, you can't drive right to the lodge, but you drive to a landing, and then from the landing, you go to the base of a dam, and then you put your boat onto a trailer, and they take you up around the dam, and then you're on Lady Evelyn Lake, the main lake. So it's almost a drive-to location, but you can take your own boat, or you can rent one of the boats that they have here, and you can catch beautiful walleyes like this throughout the day, or if you like to just go swimming and spend time on the beach, you can relax during the day, go pick blueberries, go down their trails, look at the wildlife, and then come out after dinner and get as many fish as you want. Big look, fish. Big fish, one hook barb, just yeah. in the snout. It's gonna take that out, and I'm gonna take a measurement. Yeah. Beautiful fish barb. He is 25, nice 25 inch walleye. And I'm just gonna put him in the water, no net this time, because I think he's gonna take off pretty quick. Canadian Sport Fishing, brought to you in part by Suffix, the world's most hardcore fishing line. Yamaha Outboards, reliability starts here. Sail, the outdoors superstore. Lucky Strike, all you need is a Lucky Strike. Jig heads come in all different configurations and sizes. This particular one is designed to be used with a stinger hook. So what I've done is I've attached the stinger hook and the stinger hook is literally this leader of line that's got a nice snap so I can take it on and off, a tiny treble hook, and even though this worm has been chewed, I've caught a few fish on it, some small smallmouth bass, rock bass, and also some walleye, I'm going to still use it, okay? So that's the rig. Even with the whole dew worm, there's probably about maybe an inch or two missing, there's a good chance that the fish is going to get caught on the stinger hook.